Section 9.6, Identify Symmetry. First thing we need to define is symmetry. And the object has symmetry, or symmetry is when an object can be mapped onto itself after undergoing a transformation that is not an identity transformation. An identity transformation would be something that always maps a figure onto itself, such as rotating at 360 degrees. We know if we rotate any object 360 degrees, it's going to end up right where it started. A symmetry occurs when we can do a transformation that's not an identity transformation, such as a single reflection or a rotation of only 90 degrees, and it will still put that figure back on itself. We're going to look at two types of symmetries. We're going to look at line symmetry, which is when a figure can be mapped onto itself with a reflection. And the line of symmetry is the line of reflection in a line symmetry. So think about, let's see, since we had Valentine's Day somewhat recently, we have a heart. A heart has a line symmetry. If you put a line of reflection down the middle and were to reflect the heart, the right side reflects onto the left and the left side reflects onto the right, giving you another heart. So here, this blue line is your line of symmetry. Let's look at an example. For the following figures, I want you to tell me how many lines of symmetry does each figure have. Some of these will have multiple, some of these will have one, some may have none. So take a moment, try to figure this out on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, this first figure is a kite. We could send a line down the middle, and that would give us symmetry. So we have one there. And that's actually the only line of symmetry, because if we send it here across from side to side, and we were to try to reflect the kite, we'd actually end up with this red shape, which doesn't work. So our kite has one line of symmetry. Next, we have a regular pentagon. For this one, we can send this line here. We can actually send any line that goes through the vertex and the middle of the opposite side. Since we have five vertices, this gives us five lines of symmetry. A circle. Okay, a circle's interesting. No matter where we place the line, as long as it goes through the center of the circle, it's considered a line of symmetry. There are actually infinitely many lines of symmetry. So we have infinitely many. And lastly, we have what appears to be a trapezoid. But we realize there's no way to cut this trapezoid such that if we were to reflect it, we would get the same exact shape in the same exact position. So there is no line of symmetry. And there's all your answers for lines of symmetry. Here's your next example. We have more pictures here. For these, I want you to determine if a line of symmetry exists, and if so, how many for each of the following pictures. Again, do this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're, when you're ready to check your solution.